Previously on From the Depths campaign guide walkthrough let's play thing. We covered engines, short range missiles, turrets, and how to start building your own fortress. But with no action at all in the previous episode, we were promised plenty of explosions and missiles in the next one. Will that promise hold out? We'll find out today on this episode of From the Depths Campaign Guide Let's Play Walkthrough Thing. Right, so as we get started, get back over to here. A big shout out to the guy that does the intros for me. You're welcome. Those of you that want a voice like that, all you have to do is smoke three packs a day for about five years. Screw you, I never smoked once in my life. You call sitting behind a running diesel engine exhaust, breathing deeply, not smoking? Shut up. Right. Anyways, so, we have our starting fortress here. We have our new fortress. A tiny little thing over here. And today we did promise to do plenty of action, but first there is something I want to cover. So I want to cover really quick prefabs. You'll notice I have an engine here that has 4,000 uh, power. It's on and it's using almost no fuel. Well, it is using fuel, but it's so small in comparison to this one. I mean, you can see this one. It ticks down every couple of seconds. What I'm going to do, I am going to show you how to make a prefab. That's how to build something that's not a vessel, like, you know, an engine, for, exa for example, on one item, and then put it on another item, uh, another vessel. Building, vessel, fortress, in this case a fortress. So what I gotta do, I gotta go over here, start building, go to prefab. Now I have a bunch of prefabs here, I could select an existing prefab and rename it, I'm gonna make a new one. Prefab name, um, new engine, I guess? Question mark? New engine? Right. So, over here. That's gonna double click that. Now, this is the box that I've made. The size of the box. Um, prefabs, to make a prefab works best in F3 mode, in the keyboard mode. Put it up here. You'll see the box isn't big enough. So, what I do, I need to make it bigger. Wider, 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 wider higher, higher, and longer. Is that wide enough? Is that long enough? It looks right. So, I click once, and that copies what I've done. It is now saved as the prefab. I can exit build mode. I can keep it in build mode if I really want to. I don't have to. Come over here, enter build mode again. You'll see this big area here. This is the area that the prefab needs. I'm not going to do that just yet. I'm actually going to dismantle the old engine first. This time I will remember to use to use mirror mode when I'm doing all this. Just, uh, I think I just deleted the repair bots. Oh well, if I've done this right, I shouldn't need any repair bots anyways. If I build my fortress right, I shouldn't need repair bots. Repair bots are for meat shields and things expendable and easily replaced. Not for fortresses. I'm just kidding, you should, should, you should totally have repair bots on your fortress. Okay, so, uh, oh right, prefabs. New engine? Does it fit? Let's find out. Uh, well, it doesn't fit. Okay, so I gotta put it over here. Hang on. There. There. And over here. I know, I'm technically running out of time, but, you know, I got, I got time. I got a couple seconds left. There, 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 there. there you go. 
And we have 4,000 power now. More power than I had before. Uh, 3,984, 85, I'm losing power. Why am I losing power? Oh, right, because I'm using a ton of stuff that's going to... Yeah, okay. So I still have more power than I had earlier with this engine. And you'll notice my fuel is constantly at 45,000. I am not using up... It's not that I'm not using up fuel, it's that I'm not using it faster than it's being produced by the fuel refinery. Hmm. Right, so that is how you make a prefab. That is how you post a prefab. Getting on to the promised stuff. Getting on to the fighting. Well, we have our air balloon up. We have this guy coming in after us. He's pillaging our resources. He's going to be coming after me. Oh no, whatever am I going to do? I am going to speed things up so that he gets here faster. Uh, among other things, I'm actually going to start going... I'm going to show you guys how to go fishing. We take our rapier. We send him out here. And he gets close enough to this. Somebody's gonna pop out, and they'll attack us. Like that. And then I have him retreat. And he's in range of the fortress. Sucks to be you. Start battle! in range of the fortress, but not in... He's in battle range, but he is not in range of the fortress. Well, that sucks. Well, what you can do... I could build a bigger missile. That is one option. You can build during fights, which is totally unfair to the AI, but, you know, I've never really cared about being fair to the AI. The AI will be happy to be unfair back. So, screw the AI. I'm gonna be unfair. I'm gonna build. I'm gonna build something that can hit from farther away than these guys. Really, I'm just waiting for that. Oh, there they go. Close enough now. And we follow these wonderful missiles. It's so fun to watch them. I just, I just, it makes you want to sing, doesn't it? Follow that bright after glow. Follow that bright after glow. Follow, 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 follow the bright after glow. Because of the wonderful booms they make, the havoc they create. And the flashes they make. From ear to ear, we're smiling and tearing with joy. Because blowing up ships really takes the cake. We're following the missiles, the wonderful missiles of ours. I have way too much time on my hands. <clears throat> AI dead. Nothing quite like a one-hit battle. Really, there's nothing like it. There's something satisfying about blowing up a ship completely like, obliterating the ship. Yet, at the same time, um, there, there, you know, there's... There's nothing quite as satisfying as knowing that you utterly demolished somebody in one freaking shot. You know? I mean, people talk about the big battles between, you know, the Bismarck and the, the task force that eventually shot it down, uh, shot it down, that eventually sank it. But the true great fight was between the Bismarck and the Hood, which took one shot. Where are you missiles going? I'm not sure where those guys are going. But the true greatest battle was between the Bismarck and the Hood, where the Bismarck fired one shot, and the Hood blew up. Now, don't get me wrong. I mean, it was horrible for the people that were on that. It was like, like three people survived out of like 3,000 people. I mean, it was horrible, horrible for them. But battle-wise, I mean, come on. 
You don't, th th there's nothing better than I fired once and they died. I fired once and their ship blew up. And that's just, that's just like the, the epitome of what everybody goes for. The pinnacle, not epitome, the pinnacle of destruction is to destroy your enemy in one shot. See, that one took two. That one wasn't quite as good. That took two shots. Hit escape, it despawns, I don't waste ammunition. Battle over. And we send him back out. Grab the resources. There's plenty of resources here. <clears throat> oh, he uh, doesn't have room for it. Okay, we'll send him back. Let him drop his stuff off. Always oh, right in the middle of stuff that people come over. Anyways, where were we? Um, right, we had just sent him over here to drop stuff off. And back up. See if his treasury is empty. Where are you going? I was a relation with him. Get back here. All right. And now we send him to find somebody else to draw out and piss off, so I can kill them. Oop, son of a Ooh, fast guy. Eleven meters a second. How fast is he? Thirty-one meters a second. Ah, you have no chance. Two fleets coming from this direction. This will be fun. This will be fun. All right, times one speed. We're going to move it up a little more and go to the fishing pole. Play these out of play forces because there is something I want to build. Right, I'm going to finish building this. What am I building? Well, um, actually, I'm going to build two things. I'm going to build another set of missiles. And then I'm going to build a set of torpedoes. The torpedoes I'm going to build... Oh, I'll build the torpedoes behind them. I'll build the torpedoes in front of the missiles. So, put this here and here and here. One. Torpedoes don't need lambs, but the missiles will. So actually, I'm going to build the torpedoes first. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Uh, let's check the map. Make sure that guy's not getting close. Okay, yeah, they're way, way out. You guys are way, way out of time. I have, I got plenty of time. I got plenty of time here. Eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And... Actually, if I use mirror mode, I can build these even faster. mirror mode. And this. Hmm. Oops.
I have no idea how big that one is. Uh, I think it's 15. I just know that it's bigger, and I want it bigger. Oops, wrong way. Alright, let's see how tall this one is. Uh, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Oh, that should be enough. That should be enough. the map again. This guy is getting closer. I should move over to here. I don't want him to catch up to that. I, I don't want to lose that ship. It's a useful ship. Alright, what we're going to do. Short range thruster. Now these only burn for a set amount of time. So if I get these and then one, two, three, four fuel tanks, it will fall into the water after about 2,000 meters. Well, 1,800 meters. So if I do that, and then I add in, say, torpedo propellers, one, two, three, well, uh, and it has fuel left over, like, say, one, two, three, four, five, six torpedo, uh, six fuel left over, uh, well, then the torpedo will take over, and it will continue moving forwards. And we're going to get torpedo sonar. A one turn, a target prediction guidance, because like I said, those are more useful for those, uh, for torpedoes. Then we're going to go with two explosive warheads and two fragmentation warheads. Only we're going to go with explosive, fragmentation, fragmentation, explosive. Why? I just like the pattern. Set the first frag low, set the second frag higher, and assign to all same length missiles. Uh, we check this again. There's that guy running through here. Oh, he's in range! Cool. Um, so, real quick. Oh, I, uh, I missed a few. Set these, assigned to all same length missiles. And we're going to need. I can't see anything. Darn you, nighttime! Darn you, nighttime! I hate nighttime in this game. I do not like nighttime. Wireless receiver, wireless receiver. I can't. I can barely see. Minimum range for this one, again, it's gonna be about 500. Maximum range for this one doesn't have a limit. If I've done it right, this won't have a limit. Maximum altitude, these are torpedoes, so you really don't want it going after anything in the air, but there are some ships that will have a high, uh, higher surface, a uh, higher uh, center of mass, and you do want it to go after those. <clears throat> Save the game, out of habit. Save frequently in this game. And, exiting this, I am now going to set this to a weapon slot, weapon slot 4. Why? Because there is a fun little trick you can do with torpedoes. Let's see, he's coming in almost exactly from the west. You see, I am not in combat yet, but if I fire these... I forgot to space them out. There we go. Point 4. If I fire them... The missiles don't know that I'm not in combat. They will travel over there, and then they will continue using up their fuel, getting closer and closer to this guy, while I'm not in combat. Meaning that if I start combat now, my missiles will be halfway to him before the combat, by the time we even start.
There we go. See? There's my torpedoes. They're still not in range of my missiles. But the torpedoes have almost reached these guys. Uh-oh. Where are they going? Where are you guys going? Where are you guys going? Yeah, I play in degraded mode. You can't see my torpedoes all the time. Ooh. I'm liking the way they're lining up on this guy. Run away! Run away! Run away! Too late! And you gotta love how these two just like went after nothing. Oh, and the lasers, des the laser designators for the t for the missiles have finally come on. Ooh, <laughs> ah, these guys have locked onto the other guy. Yeah, you can see the uh, the cannon from the fortress has been has started attacking. It doesn't do much. It, it doesn't do very much damage when it does hit. The missiles are really much more effective. Speaking of missiles, where are my missiles? There are my missiles. Where's the missile? There he is. Where's the missile? There he is. He took one on the chin and, like, nothing. This will really do a lot more damage than that cannon. I mean, we're going to be replacing the cannon in time. So, yeah. Uh, this is the rapier. Ah, crap, that's why. No wonder. No wonder I've been attacking with cannons. I, I engaged with the rapier. I wasn't paying attention. Well, crap. This uh, may take a little bit longer than I thought. Hmm. Rapier's at ninety-seven percent. Can I can I get onto that? No. Can I control it at all? I can get up. Well, you saw what the missiles can do, what the little torpedo cheat was able to do, at least. It's a cheap move, but, I mean, torpedoes take forever. So, yeah, I cheat with torpedoes. We must take down this flag. Now, um, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do this, but just for the sake of saying you can. Oh, nope, he's already too damaged. Okay, yeah, that's not going to happen. I was hoping to show you how to capture stuff. Uh, maybe another time. He's already too damaged. He's, he's, he's already dead. He just doesn't know yet. Well, um, back to the fishing hole. Pull this out, get you over here. Ah, repairs. We can start repairs, but I don't have repair tentacles. So that's going to take a while. I have to get it closer to the fortress. Oh, I do have repair tentacles. Okay. I do have repair tentacles. Yay. That being done, I put this back in play. So that I can finish making these. 
Minimum range will again be 500. Minimum altitude will again be negative 10-ish. And these, I'm sure you can guess what these are. These are going to be missiles that reach even frickin' further. Why? Because I hate waiting. I, I really hate waiting. I, I'm just a horrible, horrible person when it comes to waiting. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I want 12 fuel. One turn. And you know what? I'm going to have more fuel. 13, 14, 15. I have room for it. That's actually too much. <laughs> too much. You guys actually thought it was that much. No. No, that's not too much. Uh, there's no such thing as too much. Okay. <clears throat> We're going to put on the laser designator receiver. Now, this is important. I aim at our lasers only. I could set it to aim at the vehicle lasers, but I want it to aim only at the laser attached to this particular launcher. That is because I don't want these rockets to go after, say, a submarine that the torpedoes over here would be pointing at. Do I have laser-guided torpedoes? I don't remember if I made laser-guided torpedoes. Ah, well. That doesn't matter. What does matter is I'm going to blow some stuff up. So, we have... Explosive, explosive. Oh, right. Uh, you're also going to need a regulator to make sure that your missile does not blow up 60 seconds into it, because 60 seconds is about how long it takes to get 4,500 meters. So, I mean, right as it gets there, it blows up before actually hitting. You need a regulator. We're going to have three fragmentation warheads. And then... We're going to have a proximity fuse. And then... Four more explosives. Proximity fuse will set that to one. What should happen with this... The explosives should go off, the fragmentation should then go off behind it and spray a huge cloud of shrapnel into things. The proximity fuse should stop it, then, allowing the missile to get closer until, to get one meter away. You'll notice here, these explosives, they're one, uh, they're one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight meters away at this point. Now, explosives do have a large range, but, you know, the closer you are, the more damage an explosive does. So. The proximity fuse should stop the chain here, allowing the explosives to get closer and then blow up closer into the target. Useful. And again, we have our penetrator. Bigger. Bigger. Frickin' enormous. <clears throat> And that's what I want for these new missiles. Now then, who's close, who's close, who's close? All of them. Both of these guys are in range. So, oh, you'll notice this guy's running away. Uh, I will have to send the rapier out to regain his attention. So we'll start with this guy. Oh, uh, wait. Hold it. Cancel battle. I forgot to do something. He is... play fishing hole. He is, uh, he, he's kind of like north, northwest, he's, he's kind of this way. So, fire these torpedoes out that way. Give him a good, oh, 15 seconds. Anybody know a 15 second joke? There once was a blonde who walked into the ice cream shop. No, uh, that one takes like two minutes. I could do that joke. Oh, I know a 15 second joke. I do know a 15 second joke. How do you get a blonde pregnant? Don't know? Then don't call the blonde dumb. I know, I'm not PC at all. Now we start the battle. Okay, time. That's, pl that's plenty of time. We make sure this is the fishing hole this time. I don't want the rapier to go up against these guys again. And begin battle. And you'll notice they are firing because they are within range. 
lasers are targeting. They are within they are within laser targeting range. Basically, these guys are screwed. They are seriously, seriously screwed. Now the question becomes: Why would you want torpedoes at all? Seriously, I mean, you see how you've seen how missiles do, how missiles work. They're fast. They're just, they're destructive. Why would you want torpedoes at all? And the answer is, well, if they have a laser interceptor, a, a laser missile interceptor, well, your missiles won't do anything. Whereas torpedoes will continue to pummel them from underneath until they flip over, making their laser interceptor useless, at which point you may resume bombarding them with missiles. Where are they? Where are they? Oh, there they are. They're still a ways out. Yeah, you can see. You can just barely see them over there off to the right. This big cloud here. Missiles didn't quite make it. I need one more fuel on them. Torpedo did. And of course, if he continues on his trajectory, he's just going to run these guys. Yep. Thank you. That was very that was very sporting of him to run over these torpedoes. Uh, to run over the missiles that had run out of fuel. I mean, what a sport this guy is, huh? My missiles run out of fuel, and he runs over them anyways. What a, what a sport. I mean, I don't, I'm still going to kill him, but I mean, you know. Nice guy. Below 80% health and sinking. Why 80%? I don't know. 80% shouldn't really be the thing so much as it's sinking. That's really what should be the main concern is it not floating anymore as opposed to does it have 80% health oh well 80% is such an arbitrary number I mean you've heard of these guys you know getting these guys you, you, you've heard of people in World War One, World War Two, fixing up their their boats that were you know they should have died, they should have sank, they shouldn't be here anymore, and they still did it anyways. Oh, are you gonna this guy and run over these as well? No? Darn, he's gonna be smart and avoid the ones that run out of fuel. I mean, really, what, what chance does he have anyways? He, the least he can do is avoid the ones that have fallen into the water. Then again, it would really be probably less painful for him to run over the ones that have fallen into the water. It would go well right here. Some Hunt for Red October music. Yeah, uh... Yeah, see, I don't understand how below 80% health and sinking means you lose, but I have nothing in the center of my boat means you're fine. Oh, well, look, he still has some ammo barrels left. Now he doesn't! Oh, come on, this thing has been practically blown in half, and it is still considered a viable boat. I mean, look at this! 
He doesn't even have a top anymore. That thing's a donut. The thing is a giant wooden donut, and it's still considered viable. Whereas that other guy took one volley, had a tiny hole in the front, 80% and sinking. You lose. Come on. Really? Oh, now he's too damaged. Now he's too damaged. That one little piece here fell off, and now he's too damaged. I blew up the entire center of his boat from the bottom to the top, and that was fine. But he still got that one little, 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 little piece over there, and he's too damaged. Sheesh. All right, so we send him out. Grab these. Now he has two jobs. One is to grab this. Level up. Whee! And the other is to grab attention. You'll notice he's turned around. Good. These guys are in range. So, once again, we go to fishing hole. Put it in play. He's off to the... He's a little bit northwest. So, we look... I see him? Ah, I see him. Ah, 